Welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Angular 16 Complete Correct Tutorial Step by Step Guide. This is part 3 of the series. Today we are learning how to design the template UI. When working with any uh, Angular application, you will have a standard application template that you will need and based on that the data will be rendered. So that's what we are going to do today. If you have missed out on the first two parts, I'll request you to kindly go through them. We have done the required introduction and the setup in the last episode. Today we are starting with the design. Just a heads up, uh, following are the entire topics that I'll cover as part of this series. So today you will see angular material design modules and components. That's what we'll be using today. But having said that this entire series will give you a good overview of all the concepts of angular all right so what are we going to do today we are going to build an admin ui template uh, using angular material components we'll do it from scratch everything from scratch we'll build a two column layout with a header and we'll also help uh, set up the router outlet so we can have the data when we set up the routes and components all right that's what we want to achieve today let's get started uh, just a quick note in the last episode we achieved this which is just a basic boilerplate uh, template which comes up when you run the command ng serve right so we had done that and that's what we saw the output all right so now i'll go into my project folder source expand app and you will see app component.html file this is the default page that is displayed what i will do is delete everything in this page except for router outlet so except for the last line I have deleted everything else which means essentially my page is empty so when I go to localhost 4200 there is nothing on the page because I deleted everything except router outlet remember that okay so I will also be uh, referencing the documentation from angular material uh, that's what we are going to use for designing right so what we want is first um, a toolbar right a kind of a toolbar so let's go ahead and get that uh, selected so we'll use the toolbar this is what will be for our header okay now there are different variations of what all you can use so how do you use that I'm going to cover everything basic let's go to API so as part of using angular material components we will have to do installation okay so let's go ahead and install those components now I have closed this here now let's go here and you can see here we need to import the mat toolbar module okay what that will give us is a toolbar so you can go to imports of app module and add it to that once you have imported you need to add it to the imports array now that we have added the toolbar we can use it but having said that if you look at this toolbar examples these are using icons also right so we might also want to bring in the icon so go to API again copy the icon module because without which it will give you error or let me show you the error that's the best way to learn the best way to learn is always looking at the errors so I'm going to copy this code right so just copy this code toolbar code and go to our app component.html and at the top add that now let's start ng serve it will give error because it will say that icon module is missing and button module is missing and those things. you can see here it says mat icon is missing right and you can also see that it's giving error for the icons right so let's go ahead and in import that also from the icon again I'm not going to do any editing this is live coding which means I will also run into the same issues that you will and I'll show you how to work around it's not like not like other channels where I will edit and show you only the happy path I will show you entire thing end to end so now you can see I refreshed I'm getting the uh, toolbar on my uh, header so if you want you can go back again to the toolbar and go to the examples and code and copy the CSS also so that way you can 
just use it go to app component CSS save it and you can see that they are aligned okay that's what we wanted that's the example we selected so we are seeing that now if you want you can choose uh, different types of um, things that are available I am choosing this basic one okay all right so that being said let's give a proper name so here it says um, example you can see here it says we'll close the app module go to example spacer right that doesn't look like a proper name so what we will do is instead we'll call it header spacer and here too we'll call it header spacer all right so that builds our header okay and what we might also want to do is give some nice color right and kind of make it more look elegant so we'll do that as we progress along so here I have the matte toolbar so I can just say matte toolbar or I can just say header toolbar header toolbar and I'm going to say background color and I have a color in mind it's three four eight five two that's kind of a little darkish color like this you can see the background color has changed and we can say the text uh, the color should be white so it's now white color okay so that looks good this button is here we we want little spacing around it um, you can give this and say header title or app title right and inside this I can define app title this is SCSS so I can keep building in the same object I can say padding hyphen left say 20 pixel so this will move a little bit here much better readable right perfect so this is done now I will leave it up to you to design it further but I want to go ahead and build the two column layout all right so to build the two column layout we'll use a component uh, called sidebar side nav now this has a lot of uh, details that we can use uh, but one of the primary things that I want to use from here is a drawer component okay now that is what is used for let's say this toggling of sidebar you see so you can use side nav or you can use a drawer right so I'm going to use that so let me import the side nav into app module right now we are all importing only in app module but as we move along we'll create our own modules and also learn how to use them inside that for now for the design I want to use in the app module import the side nav module and add it to the app module now back to app component this is where we will add our code for the template which is the sidebar layout that we want and for that what we can do use is we'll use mat drawer container that's the and I'm going to call it content container all right so mat drawer container is nothing but it's a it's a built-in component inside the sidebar side nav module you, which we just imported okay now that we have it um, we can it will have two things one is uh, the drawer which is the sidebar and the other is the main content so here we have the mode side open and let's call it sidebar all right so I have the drawer created and the next would be the drawer content okay so right bar. now if you go to your application still there is nothing because we need to plot the main drawer content so I'm going to say main drawer after this drawer content this is where the main content will reside okay and I'm going to and 
what we will then do is since we want our output to be inside this drawer content I am moving the router outlet inside it so now you can see clearly I have my sidebar which is the drawer and this is the outlet let's go back we don't see anything yet uh, but that should be an empty one let's refresh all right so there are no errors so that's good so far and for now I'm going to add a h1 and I'll say credit card admin portal so we can see now our main header is showing up now we need to work on showing the sidebar okay and to do that uh, we have different ways of how we can do that so for now what we'll do is we have an option which says opened is true or false so I'm going to say opened is true so now you can see it says sidebar right so now sidebar and main content is visible but we need to make it look more beautiful elegant and for that we'll go back to our CSS and inside this we are going to say sidebar that's the class we have assigned to the sidebar right so here what we will say is let's assign a background color let's assign a lighter shade of gray which is f5 and let's say height is 100 percent I want the entire width and width we can restrict to say 250 pixel okay that's a standard kind of a now you can see that the sidebar is coming up it has gray color and it is it is 250 pixel okay but still it's not aligned correctly and that is mainly because of the container itself okay so which is this container so I'm going to go here and make this as height 100% I want uh, it to be 100% let's put a border around it and a gray color which is DDD and let's say minimum height should be 100 VH which is view height right so that should give us the 100 percent now you can see our layout the sidebar is now 250 pixel it's 100 percent our main container is also 100 percent view height okay we have the main content all right so far so good now we need to click on this button and should be able to collapse the sidebar right so let's go ahead and add that logic also and it's just a simple toggling right so we can just move it accordingly so in the content I'm going to bind the data right so now what I'm saying is <coughs> or open okay so now this will say that this particular way is not available see it says sidebar property sidebar does not exist because we need to go to our template which is the component file and here I'm going to add right and we can just say true or false right or I can just say if it's true make it false else make it true now we can just define sidebar open equal to true initially and then I can just say this dot right so we need to have a method right on click so what we can do is we can just uh, define any uh, like uh, you can just say toggle right so what we can do is to this menu button you see this button here will bind a method so I'll say click equal to so I'm saying on click what should happen so especially click on that menu I'm saying toggle sidebar so this is a method I want to define and go to my component class and define that method and that's it so what we are doing if it's initially it is true which is open but when we click on the toggle sidebar button this value should change if it's true make it false else make it true so let's go here so we can see that that is also working as expected all right um, that should be good at least uh, for the starting of the template um, <coughs> we can do a lot more things like <coughs> in the router itself we can have 
a card or something and display data where we want to populate but we'll do it as we generate the components for today i think our goal was to create a template which we have done let's change it to credit card portal all right uh, so i changed the name here now we got the sidebar where we'll put the links and we got the uh, admin panel okay uh, it's collapsing so we got so now whatever operations we will do will be loaded in the main content area if we want we can generate one sidebar and put the links there but that I am going to show you in the next uh, episode where I'll talk about generating all the components putting together the layout and the services that are required and the routing okay so this is good work today um, enough at least uh, to for you to start putting together the layout a lot of you always ask me that uh, can you share the layout can you how do we build a layout so you see it's just simple again it's not polished yet as we progress in the series we will polish it all right uh, that should be good for today uh, do let me know if you have any questions or suggestions comments uh, feedback on this series i would love that please do hit that like button for me please do share this videos with your friends and colleagues so they can also learn and don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you so much for joining see you in the next episode we will generate all the required components services and set up the routes thank you